Lindeners and other stakeholders benefited from a virtual consultation held on Tuesday for the construction of the new Wisma Bridge. Stacey Carmichael tells us more. Hosted by the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, the engagement provided Lindeners an opportunity to hear from the Italy-based consultant, Polytechnica, and technical officials attached to the ministry. During the virtual presentation, Polytechnica's team leader, Francisco Reyna, displayed the proposed design for the bridge. Responsible for spearheading the feasibility study and designs, Reyna said four bridge designs were considered. These included a half-through arch bridge, composite steel concrete girder bridge, modular girder bridge, and a precast concrete girder bridge. Participants of the Zoom meeting were informed the latter design is preferred due to its structure and materials that are to be used for construction. The preliminary design includes the new Wisma Bridge on the southern end of the existing Wisma Bridge. It will accommodate two lanes for vehicular traffic, two shoulders on both sides and a footpath on one side of the bridge. The new bridge will also be outfitted with street lights. Fielding questions from residents, Chief Transport Planning Officer within the Ministry, Patrick Thompson, said the future uses of the old bridge have not been finalized as there are options on the table for it to facilitate non-vehicular traffic. Another concern brought to the fore was a sharp turn on the Mackenzie approach of the bridge. To this, residents were told the design of the bridge was done within the boundaries, state land, and any design outside of that boundary would encroach on private property. The new Wisma Bridge will cater for the continued expansion of Linden, in particular the birth of the Linden-Lethem Road. For Infohub, Stacey Carmichael.